Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Wick. It is 55 degrees. It is raining. But I'm going to go out and try to find some Christmas clearance. I've been neglecting doing this and finally getting out. Not really neglecting, I actually, uh, first, uh, January 1st, New Year's, I went out and, uh, went to a party and ended up getting sick, so I'm kind of recovering from that, but it's only like, what, two? It's only like two days after, so I'm going to go and, uh, try to find that Christmas clearance. So I just cleared out all the Christmas clearance in my house from last year and now I'm getting all this again. Just some lights and some uh, inflatables. I should make four to five hundred dollars next year on this stuff. So I guess I'll make room for it. Bed, bath, and beyond. There's a giant clearance sign right on the windows. Last year at this time, I scored really big in here. Found a lot of stuff. Made some money. Will it happen again? So I just got out of Bed, Bath, and Beyond. Didn't buy anything, but they do have a lot of their Christmas toys and Christmas, you know, gift type things. They just get in just for Christmas at 50% off um, you can still make some money right now at 50% off but you have to spend like 10 15 maybe uh, 20 bucks to make like five six nine you know right now it's just not really worth it I don't want to spend ten dollars to make four dollars because the price will probably drop on a lot of this stuff um, a lot of like Disney toys and things that probably will sell had good ranks but at 75% off, I'm willing to go in there and buy it all. Um, well, not all of it, but, you know, a lot of the stuff in there that can, that's profitable anyway. So if any of you go into one of these Bed Bath & Beyonds and the stuff 75% off has finally dropped that far, uh, just leave it in the comments. Let me know. I'd love to be tipped off because this one is about 40 minutes away from me and it's, I just can't check it often. But, um, it's unfortunate, but maybe I'll catch this up at 75% off. Just got out of St. Francis and found a Sony VCR. Looked it up on Amazon and it sells, well, $700 new, $200 used. Not sure if I can get that, but the reason I bought it was because it was, um, <clears throat> really good reviews like 150 some reviews and a good rank so I should be able to you know make I would say a hundred to two hundred dollars on it we'll see what, what happens but it doesn't have the remote so I'm gonna try to buy one first because I don't like selling on FBA without a remote but um should make money on this regardless it was only $14.99 so I just got out of my fourth Goodwill and I found nothing had a nice $70 phone in there, but when I opened the box to check it, it was not the actual phone that was $70. So that was uh, annoying. But I'm feeling like crap. Honestly, I don't know. Feeling really bad. Not finding much. Uh, mostly like the Christmas stuff. I'm not going to make any money on that probably for a year. And the DVD player uh, should do well, so complain too much if I make a hundred on that or more but I was hoping I'd find a bit more I still got two Goodwills and a Walmart so um, let's make it happen so still riding shotgun with this uh, BCR but it's another day it's the next day uh, I went to 
four more Goodwills and unfortunately um, I was just feeling too bad and just kind of forgot to make a video after that but didn't find anything in those four Goodwills but ended up going home wanted to go out again today have not well I did buy that stool but that's just for personal use I'm gonna use it in my work room to sit at the uh, table but anyway I also got cat food <laughs> but that's not for me either or to resell but my back is still filled and uh, if I find a bunch of stuff today I'm gonna be screwed but you know I left it in here because that way I'm bound to find a bunch of stuff because that way that's how life works right so I'm gonna go hit like a few Goodwills I don't know, CVS, Walgreens, um, Lowe's, Walmart, um, and then a consignment shop, maybe Home Depot and Salvation Army, so a lot of places to go. I can make it fit. I really can. So just got out of a Goodwill, and I got this book you can see in there, Drupal 7 Module Development. I'm not even sure what it's for. Uh, scanned it it looked interesting it was $2 and it sells for like $23 used so rank was a million which isn't god awful in books but uh, with the new restriction well not restrictions but new uh, long term storage fees rules it makes you know longer tail books kind of risky to sell so basically I'll have like 6 months to sell it before I have to have it shipped back but I got this right here for $20. I hate having to pay this much for it. But it's a Sony under the cabinet CD uh, player. Always, especially the Sony ones, look up these under cabinet things. They can be worth money. This one sells for like $170 used on Amazon. It's in really good condition. It's got the remote and even the hardware that goes with it and the manual. So, you know, I should that's a really low ball this to say I'll make $100 on it. Um, probably make more than that. Uh, I guess a hundred dollars is reasonable after the twenty dollars I paid and uh, the fees, but I'd say easily a hundred dollars on that. So off to a good start, my first stop. But let's go hit some more places. So I just had a really big score here. Um, made a mistake by not emptying my car. I told you I'd find so much stuff. It's just fate. If you leave your car full, you will find so much stuff. I have so many door levers, uh, Christmas stuff, look in the back here, it's just, it's filled to the brim, and because it's so full I even had to leave some stuff, so a lot of Christmas stuff. Hey everybody, it's Wick here, I'm back from the journey, and I have a lot of stuff you can see back here on this table. Uh, stuff on the floor uh, Definitely a good start to the year unfortunately most of its Christmas stuff so I Have to store it in here probably for a year. I'm gonna try to merchant fulfill some of it throughout the year I'm not gonna ship any in until probably October But um, let's jump into this real quick and show you what I got I'm not gonna show like all the individual Christmas lights cuz hey they're Christmas lights I'm gonna make money but what I wanted to show what I got at Goodwill, this thing's pretty cool. Actually, I don't know if it's cool or not. Um, Canasta, some game. I have no idea. But it's uh, selling for $40. I paid $2 for it. Brand new sealed. Uh, good rank, good reviews. So the price may be inflated because it was Christmas. But regardless, I should make money. I'm guessing it's probably a popular... Um, game is just out of print a lot of times they can sell for a decent amount so there's that uh, I picked up a random book I think I showed this uh, I'm gonna make like um, get what it was like maybe 10 bucks or something uh, I got grill covers Let's see three four five three four five six seven eight grill covers uh, they were five dollars and I will sell them for hopefully twenty four dollars uh, they're on Amazon right now for 20 but there's no FBA so I'm gonna price mine a little bit higher 
either way, after fees, I'll either double my money or make, it's going to be probably 5 to like $10, maybe 5 to 9 realistically. Uh, I've also seen this under the cabinet Sony. Uh, definitely worth money. Hopefully, we'll make, I'm going to lowball and say 100 on that. The Sony VCR. I'll make a hundred on that too. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, anything Sony, look it up. Any electronic doesn't have the remote. I'm gonna see if I can get a remote cheap for it, but probably not. Um, that's actually not it's supposed to be up there. I got these filters. I'll make about anywhere from seven to nine dollars. Good rank. Paid two dollars for them. You can see the inflatables in the back, maybe. Let me move these grill covers. I got about, see, two, four, six, eight of these. Now, here's the amazing thing about these, this um, trip here. I was in Lowe's. I go in there and go to the Christmas stuff. It's just a little section, like two bays. And there's a woman there, she says, hey, this is all the Christmas stuff I got left. I'm like, oh, this is it? So, you know, I start looking through it. I'm like, eh, you know, this stuff isn't that great. It's 75% off. I'm looking it up, you know, eh, they're kind of risky. I also got these Minion inflatables you see back here. But anyway, I was, uh, I don't know if this stuff, you know, I want to invest in this. I was debating. And she comes over and she's just like, hey. You, uh, you want any of this stuff, I'll mark it down more. I'm like, how much more? And she said, uh, $20 on these inflatables. These inflatables are normally $150. And they sell for that, because I sell them, well, not these exact inflatables, but I sell inflatables the past couple years that I buy on clearance, and they always sell well. And they sell for $150. Some of them up to $200, depending on which one. So, you know... <laughs> Bare minimum, if I make $50 on these, I'll probably make around $75 each. So, <coughs> do the math. Sorry, I'm uh, getting sick again. Went to a New Year's party. Of course, you gotta catch something. Uh, I got these projection lights. This is, like, she marked down pretty much everything, about 90% off. So, these projections, um, they were supposed to be $5 after the 75% off. She said, oh, how about two fifty each? I'm like, I'll take them all. She just wanted to get rid of the stuff. Honestly, if I could fit everything in my car, I probably would have bought more. I barely got all this stuff in my car. But, uh, plus I don't have the storage here to just be storing 9 billion Christmas things. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to rearrange my room again. But, I got about... I'd say 15 of these projection bulbs, which have good ranks. You know, I'll make anywhere from five to ten dollars a piece on them. Easily over a hundred dollars there. These Disney lights. I almost didn't buy them, but with it being like a Disney brand, there's some sort of special light. Uh, they were normally 49.99, 50 bucks. So I was like, eh. Okay, I looked them up, and there's some on Amazon, but, you know, somebody just listed them. So, you know, I got them for, like, what, six, $6, $6.50, so they're, if I can sell them all for 50 next year, that's going to be some good money. I got a C6. I only got seven of them. Uh, I got these two different kinds. I'll just show this one. They're light clips. Uh, one was, like, a dollar. The other one was like 75 cents after she took off everything. But I'll make anywhere from 3 to $5 a piece on these. I got about 20 of them, I'd say. And then what she did, she put, we fill up like three grocery carts. Not grocery carts, they're just the red carts. They don't sell groceries at Lowe's. But she filled up three of them, took them to the register, just left them like in the aisle. And she's like, 
told the woman, like, oh, yeah, I, I changed the prices and all this. I'm like, I need to look around. She's like, okay. But I was so nervous because I kept glancing back, like, from the other aisles at my carts. There are people looking at them. I'm like, dude, they're going to think this stuff's for sale. <coughs> so I went and uh, hurried. I tried to go through and look at the rest of the stuff, and I ran into all those doorknobs or door level levers. Like, here's a couple of different ones. These are the high-end um, um, dark ones. I forget what they call the style. But these sell for 30 to $45 a piece. There are two different ones. I don't know. I got so many of them that I'm going to make, you know, three to $400 on all those doorknobs. They are pr pretty good ranks. I also found these. There's shower pan liners. I bought some before. These are a bit cheaper. They're like $8. They sell for $40 online. Make like 12 bucks. Got three of them. Uh, anything else? Like I said, it's mostly Christmas stuff. I got stuff down here. I don't even have on the table. Just light. These sold for $20. Um, good rank. So I'll make $5 a piece on these. Well, if I bought them for five, I'll sell them for twenty and make um, anywhere from five to nine. I don't remember; they're pretty popular. And I got some remote control, Christmas lights, some net lights that I sold this past year. Got some more of these; they were five dollars. So I would say easily fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars I'll make on that trip. And I almost didn't go out. I almost talked myself out of it because I was feeling bad. So, I'm glad I went out. I may be coughing. I may be dying of the plague right now. Feels like there's snot running out of my nose. So, that's going to about do it. Uh, I would have bought... They had a ton of these. I could have bought ten more of those Minion inflatables. But, there were some bad reviews. And, there's a lot of other sellers. So, kind of didn't want to jump too deep in those. Yeah, that's going to do it for this road trip vlog that I had. I hope you enjoyed watching it. It's probably pretty lengthy. Sorry. And if you made it to the end, I got a little cool thing. Uh, cool for me, I guess. I guess if you watch my videos, it's cool. But just ordered a really high-end camera, like a, an $800 camera. So video quality and vlogging, I'm trying. It's, it's fun to do. So I kind of invested in it. I'm going to start making, trying to make some higher quality videos. But because this this phone camera just looks like crap. Every time I edit a video, I get mad at myself. So I finally broke down and, and dropped the money on a camera. But again, thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed this vlog. And this has been Wick. Till next time.